What's happening, buddy? This is Hayden Adams with The Designer Who Codes. Welcome to part three, talking about Bootstrap Flex. I'll link down below in the description of this video where we talked about rows, columns, column and inline flex. And now we're gonna go to justifying these columns because right now they're just kind of sitting, but we wanna make them move or move around in a justifying way. So I'm gonna do is down here at the bottom, I'm gonna come down to where I have, let's see, column and inline flex. I'm gonna build something brand new. So I'm gonna do is, I'm gonna then say down here, this H2 is gonna be something new. I'm gonna say justify content center, and we're gonna focus on rows for this one. Since we already have the rows up at the top, I'm gonna to copy and paste this top part of code. I'm gonna do is I'm gonna head up to the rows. I'm just gonna copy this div to div right here. And right here, I'm gonna do is drop this in. What I did before is I didn't do this properly because I think I went out of the container. Yep, I am not in my container. So let me just do a quick cut and paste right here. And we'll drop it in there to where now, whoa, my prettier did not line up successfully. There we go. Now I have it set up to go. So what I wanna do is I wanna justify this type across the screen right here. By default, it's in the start position. Bootstrap used to say left and right, and due to Arabic and the right to left direction, or what's called LTR or RTL, from right to left, left to right, they've now named it start on the left or end on the right. And I say right and left in the English translation in Arabic, the start would be on the right and the end would be on the left. So by default, it starts at the start. If I wanna then move the content to the right, what I can say is at the very top, I'm then gonna say justify content end. And what's gonna happen is it's gonna move all the way to the end. The great part about it is this is just like text in general where left or start, right, end, and you also have center. So we're gonna say center, for this one. So what it's gonna do is it's gonna justify the type right in the middle, or the, I said type, justify the rows right in the middle. Keep in mind that when you have a row, the rows work with the X axis. So what's gonna happen is it's gonna justify the type, I keep saying type all of a sudden, it's gonna justify the row to whichever direction you wanna go in. Now along with start, end and center from left, center, right, or Arabic, right, center, left, what you also get are a couple different ones. You also get between, around, and evenly. So if I say between, what that's gonna do is gonna take it from the far, I'm using English, so I'm gonna say left and right in this example only, but it starts with the left, puts this in towards the middle or between the spaces and puts the far right one on the right. What then happens, if you don't want it so far out, you can also say around. And this one I almost never use, because it, eh, it's around the same space between all of them, but to me, I either wanna go all the way to the end or from the middle. What I mean by that is I use evenly. This is the one I really like to use if I'm not using between. So now to me, this one's a little funky, so just for the sake of design, I'm just gonna take out this top one. I'm just gonna say, I'm a div. Let's just make this a little easier for right now because I'm just noticing that's better. So, oh, now I can't, that's what I'm looking for. That's <laughs> doing this almost live and working with this direction. Now you can see how much cleaner this is with the same content in each one. Speaking of same content, what I did in a previous video, I'm gonna go grab this right here, is I did a video which I'll also link to down below where I put the social media icons in a design pattern. I used evenly to space these apart because the greater part about it is, with, especially with the icons, when I move this, I am having browser issues all of a sudden. There we go. Notice how they stay evenly in the same spots and they also move based upon the size of the container. So I use evenly a lot for social media icons because it evenly spaces them apart. And if I were to go into this design, let's just do it for the fun of it since I'm right here anyways. 
And these are all just icons. If I take one out, what happens is if I refresh the page, they're still evenly spaced apart. Let me undo that, save, and close this one. So the evenly is more or less what I use if I'm gonna space them apart. Otherwise, I'll go left, center, right. Now here's the thing. Justify still works, but these are rows. If we wanna go into the columns, we have to build a height in. By default, the block level design will then go across to 100%, enabling us to create the space between. However, there's no vertical space by default in HTML or CSS, so we have to go ahead and create that space. We wanna justify our content to our columns. So I'm gonna do is in the custom CSS area, I'm gonna say vertical box, vertical box. And I'm gonna say min height, because I never like to use the word actual height, that locks it in, and I'm all about responsive design. I'm gonna say min height 60VH for 60 vertical height, and I'll make a background color Kind of stick in this Pleasantville black and white. If you've never seen the movie Pleasantville, it basically does all black and white for a time being. So I'm gonna say background color, and I used E1, E1, E1 to create a background gray to see this box. So what I'm gonna do with this next design is I'm gonna then build the same approach to this, and we'll use the div, div, divs. However, we're gonna switch this back to a column. One final thing I should remember also to note as well is that I still kept the LG for the flex, which means those icons, depending upon how they are gonna move, will go back to a vertical alignment if you want that. If you don't want that, like let's say we had those icons before, I then need to take out the LG flex and it'll maintain the position. Now, if you have a mobile environment, you might want that because it might be small enough to fit that in. It might not, and you might need to go LG Flex and drop it down to a design pattern where it's vertical in that nature. Again, not thinking column vertical, but row column. Just as an option, I'm gonna keep it LG for the time being. All right, now I'm gonna do is I'm just gonna then copy, well, actually I need to copy and paste. I'm gonna say H2, and we'll say justify content, and we'll use evenly for this one, but it's gonna be columns. So a little unique approach to this one. The great part about it is we already have the columns up top, so I'm just gonna copy and paste that one. So I'm gonna grab the columns, and what I'll do is I'm gonna say deflex, drop it into the columns, hope my prettier stays. Yeah, I'm looking pretty good there. And now what's gonna happen is I've got columns. So what I wanna do for the columns is I have to add that box in that I created, my vertical box. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna copy and paste the vertical box into the index, and where I'm gonna put it is right there. And now what I have, oh, this is, <laughs> you know, I didn't think about this when I made this earlier, but the problem is I have to make the screen bigger. So normally I would actually make it 60 vertical height. The problem is I forgot the actual browser is too small for the vertical height in this demonstration. So you know what, for this part, oh, the fun part of doing this beforehand and then doing it actually recorded. Let's drop to 600 pixels. That'll be indicative of the browser. That's better. So notice now in this design, we have the 600 pixel box. Now we can use justify the same way, but now we're going in a Y axis, not the X axis. So what we'll do is, let's actually just do it this way. I'm gonna say justify content row and then justify content columns. Now this actually sounds a little bit better. That way we're not having to worry about which direction. Justify content columns, which then means the Y axis. And drop it in. And now when I save it, it actually looks better. We have row, columns, X, and Y. So the same piece approach we're gonna take to the justify of the rows, we can apply to the columns. So if I wanna say here down below that this design, I then wanna then go justify content evenly. When I drop that in, it's gonna evenly space, but in a vertical pattern. 
So the same way with the center. If I want to go center, let's drop it in here. And now what's going to happen is the center originally was on the X axis, but now the centering is on the Y axis. So we now can center something all of a sudden. So if I wanna take this even a step further, I'm gonna take out these two divs just for a second. And now what's gonna happen is, in theory, I've justified my content to the center using columns with this one box. This is in the very middle. If I wanted for fun, wanted to center that type, I then could then say in the div class, I can say text center. And now I have centered type in a centered box inside this design. So using justify center with a column approach. Again, this is now set deflex to all sizes. But again, if I wanted this to go away, or I'm gonna say DLG flex, let's take out this text center for a second. What's gonna happen is when I go outside that space, come on it's gonna go up to the top because we're gonna lose the flex. Now the reason why I did use that 60 vertical height is because 600 is a fixed size. And when I'm thinking about responsive design, I'm never thinking about a fixed size. So to me, what I like about this design is if I were to go back for this one, I'll say 60 VH. I like this because the browser dictates the size of the box. So if I go bigger or smaller, notice how it resizes based upon the browser size. And if I were to go inspect and drop to a mobile environment, that 60 vertical height is still indicative of the mobile size. Now I might write a media query to a 30 or something a little smaller in this case, but just I like the reason why is the 600 on a mobile will be huge but a 60 vertical height will fit relative to the mobile frame environment. So it's a little hard to show on the screen on this demonstration, which is why I went back to 600. And for the source code, if anyone wants to download it, I will keep it at 600 PX just for display purposes only in this demo. But this is all about how you can justify your type both on the X axis and on the Y axis, depending on which way you wanna go rows and columns, and I'll just drop this one back just so we have it nice and clean. So it's always on the deflex and we have our three columns and now it justifies the content in the center via justify content center.